It is summer holiday time on the island of Sodor. Vacationers come from far and wide to enjoy the beauty of the island. It is the busiest time of the year for Sir Topham Hatt's engines. Thomas was excited. Sir Topham Hatt had sent him to pick up a special to deliver to Dry Aw Airfield. What have you got there? Tooted Percy. A balloon? Replied Thomas. A party balloon? Asked Percy excitedly. No, it's a very special balloon, said Thomas, and he chuffed away. Soon Thomas arrived at the airfield, and hot air was puffed into the balloon. What is that? Huffed James. A hot air balloon, said Thomas. It will take holiday makers on rides around the island. Taking holiday makers around the island is our job, leashed James jealously. Then, as if by magic, the hot air balloon rose silently up into the sky. What if the hot air balloon takes our passengers away? Chuffed James. What will happen to us then? This made Thomas worry. Suddenly, he wasn't so excited about the balloon. The balloon could be seen by everyone on the island of Sodor. Doug gazed at it for so long, he ran into the back of Stepney. Oh, it is a floating basket with frogs in it, chuffed Donald. What's happening when they dream up next? said Douglas. James and Thomas were waiting at the level crossing. They were still worried about the hot air balloon. If it takes our passengers away, chuffed Thomas, there will be no use for us engines. Passengers should travel on trains, huffed James. Not in silly balloons. Then something big and round and red drifted straight uh, towards them. James, we're out of hot air. James, shouted a voice. James, look out! <laughs> Cried James. What's happening? Crash, bang, whoa, put the balloon and landed right on top of James. He was so scared, he let out a huge burst of steam, which blew the balloon up again. The balloon rose into the air once more. Well done, James. Called his driver. Your hot air did the trick. Oh no, James! cried Thomas. You saved the hot air balloon! I didn't mean to! groaned James. Now it's sure to take our passengers! Wherever James went, he could see the balloon carrying vacationers across the island. He thought he should be taking those passengers. Rails are better than hot air any day! James arrived back at the station. There were lots of people waiting on the platform. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting too. Well done, James. But now the passengers were riding the hot air balloon. Sir Topham Hatt laughed. You're right, James, he said. But they will need a ride home in a train. James was delighted. Sir Topham Hatt was right. The engines were now busier than ever taking vacationers to and from the airfield. Whenever James sees the red balloon, he whistles and toots. And sometimes when he's asleep at night, James dreams he can fly too. Just like the red balloon.